Hi, welcome back. So here I'm going to go a little bit more into depth on this example of how to use the Koopman operator to analyze nonlinear differential equations in terms of finite dimensional linear dynamical systems on uh, observable functions. Okay? So we have this nonlinear differential equation here in two states. Um, the system has a slow manifold here given by this red dashed curve as long as lambda is fast and stable compared to mu. And we have these white trajectories, these three different trajectories, where you start at different initial conditions, and rapidly they all move up to this slow manifold, and then they slowly move down to the fixed point at 0, 0. So in the Koopman world, I can create a new state space where I'm measuring x1, x2, and x1 squared. These are my new variables, three of them. And I can represent my original nonlinear differential equation in terms of a linear dynamical system on these three observable functions, which is awesome. So now we're going to dig into this MATLAB a little bit for how we can actually visualize the solution to this Koopman linear system in three dimensions. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what these different colored manifolds uh, mean. Okay. So here we have um, the simulation from, from the slides, but now I'm going to be able to rotate this any way I want, which is really neat. Okay, So I want to tell you a little bit about, um, about these coordinate systems and why we've chosen them and what they mean. So here we have y1 and y2, and those are just my x1 and x2 directions. And then y3, this third dimension, is a measurement of x1 squared. Okay, So our slow manifold, that red dashed parabola, if you take that out of the x1, x2 plane and you move it through y3, because that should also be a slow manifold regardless of, of y3, you get this red uh, parabola, parabolic sheet. And this blue parabolic sheet is the set of initial conditions that satisfy the fact that if I have an initial condition at x1, my initial condition for y3 had better be x1 squared. Okay, So this blue sheet is essentially uh, initial conditions should start out on this blue sheet. And notice that I have these white trajectories here. These are my full uh, initialized trajectories of my Koopman linear system. And they move very quickly onto this green uh, slow subspace. So now in the Koopman system, I still have these eigenvalues mu and lambda. And one of them is still much faster than the other. So this green surface here is my, my slow subspace of the Koopman operator. And these white curves very rapidly attract onto this green slow subspace. And then they follow it back down along this parabolic trajectory to the fixed point. Okay, And you can see, now this is a little subtle, but you can see that this green slow subspace does not exactly line up with this intersection of my blue and red paraboloids. So the blue and red paraboloids are at 45 degrees, and my green subspace is a little bit more shallow. And what you find, this is really interesting, is that as you make your uh, fast dynamics, that lambda, as you make it faster and faster and faster, this green manifold starts to incline up and up and up until it perfectly aligns with the intersection uh, of my initial condition blue manifold and my asymptotic attractor, uh, this red slow manifold. So that's kind of cool. You can actually play around with this in the code and make it faster or slower, and you'll see these things become more aligned or less aligned. But what's, you know, what's really neat here is that these white solutions in 3D are really honest to goodness outputs of a linear differential equation. These are linear trajectories in three dimensions. And when I project them down onto my uh, y1, y2 subspace, my state, if you will, my linear measurements of my state, you perfectly agree with the nonlinear dynamics.